Yo guys and welcome back towards this new video here on the channel and on today's video I will be talking about the consumer price index reports that are going to get released in literally a few minutes from now on while you are watching this video. So this and much more will be getting discussed on today's video. Of course as well I will be going in towards the analysis so guys without any further ado slap up that like button, subscribe to the channel and let's dive right away in towards the content and of course guys do remember slashing sl slapping up that like button right now is definitely very important because these markets i mean not the market but uh the the interest is very low right now and slapping up that like button will be highly appreciated if you're going to do it today right now so what are we seeing right now bitcoin on the one hour time frame yeah it's really consolidating a little bit here i'm just seeing sideways action not a real big yeah action is going on right now here but what i'm expecting and what i will be explaining in today's video is that i do think that today we are going to get a huge jump and why are we going to get that huge jump it's because the april consumer price index report is expected to show inflation has already peaked so what does this mean if inflation is already peaking basically will be uh, in my opinion what i expect of course take this with a grain of salt is that the market is going to be creating more optimism because the fed is currently being hawkish due to the high inflations and if they can see their effects from uh, um, from hiking the interest rates is working currently they're probably going to become less hawkish and that will be probably drive more optimism towards the market so that is definitely a very bullish thing for all markets across since we are expecting the inflation is going to be lower. We don't know for sure, but usually these um, predictions are very accurate. So yeah, we are expecting some lower inflation to come. And that could be really spell a pump across all markets. Not only on Bitcoin, but also on these classic stocks like the NASDAQ, like the S&P 500. And more importantly, looking at Bitcoin, a relief rally will be quite likely to occur, right? I'm not 100% saying right now we have to go up. I personally think that the recovery for Bitcoin is going to take a while here. It's going to be a process for Bitcoin. Because, yeah, right now we, we flushed out the many people. And there's just a reaccumulation phase going on here. And while looking at the market, we can currently see there is a 50.4% long ratio. So, yeah, if we're right now going to be moving up, we're going to make the longers even more richer. And the shorters, yeah. We don't care about them. So, yeah, it's very interesting to look at that right now here. But currently, we can clearly see we are forming a W here. We're forming a higher low on the 4 hourly time frame. That could be definitely leading towards a uh, continuation towards the upside. And for me, what I want to be seeing here is basically for the 4 hourly time frame, a close above that region of the 31.8k. If we can close above the 31.8k for Bitcoin, I personally am expecting at least a little bit of a continuation up here. And as well, to take into account, a relief rally for Bitcoin will be, of course, definitely on its place right now here. Since we did came down very quickly and somewhat of a bounce will be pretty likely to assume here, of course, for Bitcoin. And more importantly, also a very imp uh, important topic to really discuss here, and also a reason why I personally am expecting to see a bounce here, is this chart here. It's a realized loss for Bitcoin. What are What is this chart basically telling us? It's a very interesting chart, and I don't really see many people talk about it. Of course, of course, you guys covered already, if you are following me on Twitter, because yesterday I already brought a word out about this chart. And what I basically was telling about this chart is that currently... We saw another huge, huge spike. And look at what I'm looking at. This huge spike over here. And you may be asking me, Rover, what are we currently looking at? We're looking at the chart that shows us the realized losses in US dollars. So basically over here, on May 19th, we saw an approximately 4.5 billion US dollars in realized loss. And what does it exactly mean, sir? It basically means that 4.5 billion US dollars of, um, yeah, bitcoins worth of bitcoins were sold against a loss so it, it was basically looking all those people that basically bought higher and sold lower at that point realized a loss on their account and once again always once we're seeing these high spikes of realized loss is basically is an yeah very cascading effect here because that is that usually happens on a huge market correction and always after these huge market corrections we tend to see a rally start to get created once again here because the majority of the weekends got shaken out just look at here we got two of these shakeouts and after that we moved up significantly once again we're getting another huge spike in realized loss i am not saying the bottom is right now in here definitely not i am not trying to bring that to you guys out there but what i am trying to say is that bitcoin 
is definitely closer to a bottom than it has been ever before. And um, yeah, buying Bitcoin in places where many retailers are selling against a loss is for me definitely a huge opportunity. Also, just I'm looking at Bitcoin right now, we're trading on thirty thousand US dollars. I'm not saying you have to buy anything. I'm not a financial advisor, but I am sharing you my own strategy. I am definitely in these places over here, starting to dollar cost average more towards my positions. Also taking an account here before I go further towards my analysis on the price action that we are currently seeing an um, an high amount of growth in terms of long-term supply here just look at this chart here of course you can see a massive amount of growth in these one plus year holders but if we're zooming out towards the whole time bitcoin has been around always once these long-term holders are stacking up here it is a clear signal that the bottom may be in over there so take this with a grain of salt but this is indeed a very huge signal for you guys out there then going further in towards the analysis i'm really talking about an interesting chart here guys look at this for yeah daily chart for bitcoin daily time frame on bitcoin forming a huge falling wedge like would you know falling wedges are considered as a bullish by scan um, bullish by scandal uh, formation but like we do know we printed one over here as well and we broke down here so yeah th those things could definitely also happen but to more of less say it, uh, we are right now in a yeah falling wedge pattern, typical bullish bias pattern. A breakout target of such kind of a pattern is around the uh, sixty-eight thousand US dollars, and that is approximately a ninety-four percent move. And of course, from the current time of recording, that is approximately one hundred and seventeen percent move towards the upside. Absolutely crazy! It's basically towards the ultimate of Bitcoin. So, pretty huge move. Uh, waiting around the corner, Bitcoin is currently having an approximately sale of 54% from all-time highs. Um, is that a big opportunity? Yes, definitely is. And of course, what I really want to be saying about this pattern is that we're not currently only retesting the lower side of this um, yeah, downward sloping support line. But at the same time, we are currently trading at very strong horizontal support, right? Last time around, we've been touching this level as well, exactly the same range. And let me just set up a pure horizontal range, right? You can clearly see we've been touching this exact level, exact level, and we have been starting to be bouncing from it. It was the um, the 29.786 uh, here. That was a huge bounce that we got created from the range here. And I wouldn't be surprised to really see a continuation getting started. Last time we touched that level was back here in July of 2021. And that really kickstarted this move towards the upside, right? Huge opportunity, still waiting around the corner. Definitely have to uh, look out for that one right now on the markets. Also, yeah, I mean, quickly addressing this, of course, I'm not going to say anything you already know, and this is, of course, something you already know, so I will be keeping it very quick here. Bitcoin is currently just creating a huge opportunity on the weekly time frame. We are having a weekly retest, um, and this is, of course, a huge opportunity, also considering the RSI of the weekly is below the 35. Uh, it's also showing there is a, uh, a, a high amount, a high ch low risk for high reward, basically, for Bitcoin right now, if you're interested to be buying up. And if we're also going to look towards the market right now here on the one-hour time frame, are we expecting a bounce today? Um, I'm personally am expecting a strong bounce for Bitcoin today due to the um, April Consumer Price Index report. But also to take in consideration, we still currently have a CME gap here. And if we are going to be filling up that gap here, it is around the 36k region. A relief rally towards the 36k is for me very likely to expect right now here uh 36 US dollars for bitcoin is a very beautiful target to be moving up towards filling up the cme gap and moving up or down from of that point we have to be analyzing the market at that point of course but for me it is pretty likely to assume such kind of a move getting created and of course do take in consideration this is going to be a 14 percent move here and that is quite big here also, taking into account, if we're going to look at a potential bounce that we could be getting created here, I'm going to look at the NASDAQ. And if we're going to look at the NASDAQ that is about to open in a few hours from now on, it could be potentially have a very positive reaction towards this consumer price index report here. Because it's going to be a little bit softer and it's going to be indicating the peak of the inflation is already going to be in here. And if we're going to get such kind of a positive consumer price index report, what we are expecting to be honest... The Nasdaq could be starting to be bouncing here, and of course, a bounce from of this previous resistance slash support range will be quite likely for the uh, for the Nasdaq. Of course, even though it's a short term bounce, if the Nasdaq is <coughs> if the Nasdaq decides to be bouncing, let's say four percent, Bitcoin could already move up twelve percent because due to the color rate, uh, yeah, basically due to the high frequent 
um, like the, the pairs have been trading so significantly to each other, only Bitcoin has been a little bit more volatile, it can also be more volatile towards the upside, so do take that in consideration. Bitcoin can bounce very quickly if the Nasdaq really is starting to be bouncing from this region. Also, another thing, I mean, you know it's pretty weird here? I only see bullish swings here across the market, but the only thing that's not really bullish on Bitcoin is the price section right now. Take that in consideration. Uh, also, it's, it is it it isn't a crime to be bullish right, uh, right now, guys. Please be normal. Many people are hating people that are bullish right now in the market, but please be a little bit more kind to each other. Being bullish is not a crime. It's definitely a time to be bullish once everyone is bearish, and that is definitely the case right now here. And I mean, I admit it. I've been bullish in this whole region between 53k towards right now here. 53k. Uh, 50k. And right now, I've been bullish in the whole region, but I'm still going to be buying more and more and more towards the downside. If Bitcoin falls more, I will be buying more. But going in towards this chart, we can currently see Bitcoin US dollar against the Bitfinex will here. Blue line is the Bitfinex will here. Orange line is the Bitcoin price, like we probably already know. First of all, let's go do a history lesson, because if you want to learn to predict the future, you first have to understand the past. So, what are we seeing? In the past, we saw a massive spike in long positions getting opened, and that of course caused a movement towards the upside. Well, these longs were getting closed here, like you can see. They were getting close, uh, they are, they were getting close up here, and let me pu put up a vertical line here. We saw the price action also decrease, and come towards a low towards March 2020. Then further going in towards the analysis, and we can see that, of course, the longs start to increase again here. And look at how the peak was getting found over here. As soon as the peak was in here, they were distributing their long positions again. And while the distribution happened, of course, the lowest point of all longs being active, how conven uh, co uh, conveniently, it was almost at the autumn high for Bitcoin. Pretty interesting to see that. Then, we are once again seeing a massive spike in long positions getting opened again here. What does this show us? It shows us basically that smart money is opening massive positions across those uh, those exchanges. And that is pretty interesting to see. There's a huge amount of will stepping in towards uh, the market right now to try and catch this long position. Because yeah, Bitcoin is definitely trading at a very low price here. And these bulls really want to be catching that um, that opportunity right here. So do take this into consideration. Um, and this is can be definitely leading towards an, um, yeah high pr higher price for Bitcoin for sure. Uh, also, then let me go over something very interesting. Of course, liquidations are definitely coming down, but still they're pretty high across the border. But then let me talk about something interesting. It's of course about the Terra stablecoin. But of course, you probably heard already many things about it. So I will be keeping it very short and I will be talking about some interesting things, right? First of all, as of today, as of yesterday, the Luna Foundation Guard holds zero Bitcoin. Why do they hold zero Bitcoin right now? It's because they sold off all their Bitcoin to be trying to restore their peg price. So to restore the one US dollar price on their stable coin. Unfortunately, it has not been working so far. And also a very important thing here is that approximately 80,000 Bitcoin was added in sell pressure on Bitcoin. And you can clearly see this decreasement in Bitcoin in terms of its price here. Really, the Luna Guard Foundation had a yeah pretty massive effect on the market because they were really... First of all, selling their Bitcoins against a loss here, but second of all, really dragging and adding extra sell pressure towards the market. And 80,000 Bitcoin is quite a lot here. I I, I guarantee you, 80,000 Bitcoin is a lot on the market to handle in terms of liquidity. So, um, yeah, Luna Guard Foundation sold their Bitcoin to cover that peg price, and it's still not working. But right now, the Terra founder, Do Guan, shares a plan to save the USD stablecoin peg. So, first of all, there is right now an opportunity to be buying this US dollar Terra for 44 cents while well, it should supposed to be worth one dollar right so for one dollar you can almost buy two dollars pretty weird right but if the pack restores so if the price action come comes back towards one dollar so towards the pack your your terra is just once again one dollar worth right but there is definitely a possibility it's not going to get restored here and it's going to go to zero so either you're going to take a big risk here and you could be making a two and a half x here you could double your money very easy or you're going to lose everything. I'm currently staying away from it. I'm not going to be betting anything against it. 
it could definitely happen it could definitely go towards one dollar but for me it's too big of a risk right now here but of course the terra founder is still being very optimistic that it is just a minor setback but for me looking at the the, the luna price here this isn't really a, a tiny setback because if i'm looking towards the weekly time frame this is of course literally a setback towards the lows not seen here back in 2021 almost in 2020 so it has been quite a major setback terra is currently trading on uh, one dollar and 97 cents so that is absolutely crazy to take into account here look at this the last time we reached this level was here back in february 2021 that is pretty crazy to consider so uh yeah the he's currently saying that he is trying to uh, that he is setting up a plan basically and what he is describing in his plan is of course a whole threat what he's currently saying here but he's trying to um to restore it, uh, restore the tag, uh, the pack by burning more US, ta US dollar Terra. Uh, I personally am not a huge fan of it, but yeah, you could definitely still believe in it and still buy some up. Um, but of course, the reason why the Terra is first of all decreasing in its value is because everyone is selling it off. If everyone sells off the uh, US dollar ter uh, Terra, it is just going to keep on decreasing because if there's just too many outflows they don't have a one-on-one -on -one backing and that is clearly what you can see guys if you don't have a one-on-one -on -one backing this is what happens and trust disappears right now and once trust disappears it comes down to zero right so uh it's definitely a very big issue but he's currently saying here that um terra's focus has always been orientating itself around the long-term horizon and another setback this may similar to last year will not uh, that are the lunatics short-term stumbles do not define what you can accomplish it's how you respond that what that's what matter so he's basically saying everything will be all right i mean i'm, I'm definitely being a very conservative about it right now i don't know if that's the right word for it but i'm should be very cautious with terror right now Please, I see so many people on Twitter saying, I am buying Terra right now. It is having an uh, approximately 88% sale today. That is pretty crazy to take into account, of course, right? It started the day at $17, what is already extremely worse. And today, it is another 90% down. And tomorrow, it could be another 90% down here. And if it goes another 90% down tomorrow, it will be trading around $0.60. Cents. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if we're going to touch that level. So, please... Once a coin is 90% down, it can still go another 90% down. So, be careful with uh, with Luna out there. Everyone is shorting the F out of Luna. There could be, of course, a massive short squeeze. I don't really think it is going to be happening. Don't trade Luna. I should stay away from it. Volatility is high. Everyone wants to get rid of their Luna. There are also huge, uh, basically, in institutions invest in Luna. They still got their hands on some tokens. They want to be getting rid of those tokens because no one is having trust in Luna right now. And I currently don't have trust in Luna as well. So this was it for today's update video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Today is going to be an extremely exciting day here. Bitcoin is going to be creating some massive volatility later today here, guys. And I can guarantee you, within this once this video is live, within two hours, we're going to see massive volatility for sure because those consumer price index reports are going to do a massive amount with the uh, market. So, guys, thank you so much for watching once again towards this amazing new video. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.